Hello everybody and welcome back to FedEx Gaming's Redstone Tutorials. In this tutorial, I'll show you guys how to build my campfire version 3 because every time an update comes out, my campfires get ruined. However, this one's going to be using a new method of setting this thing on fire. So we have a minecart right here in the middle. Once we flip down this lever, our minecart gets shot on fire and our campfire lights up. Now, however, this one's a little bit different. The only way to turn off the fire, you see this fire is there forever. However, the only way to turn it off is if we just get far enough away or if you just leave the game as well, it will go off. But the easiest way to make it go away is if you get far away from it. So pretty much how this thing is working is the minecart is getting hit by an arrow that is set on fire. So enough talking about it guys let's just jump into this build all right guys so lately i've been doing my redstone builds up in the sky and i still will continue to do it however since this is a campfire i decided to do it on the ground because it's a campfire so for this build we're going to need a three by four spacing and you're also gonna have to have enough room to dig down three all right guys so for this build we're going to need two dispensers one dropper one hopper one redstone comparator two redstone repeaters one redstone torch three redstone dust one lava bucket we're also going to need eight stone slabs one minecart a rail it doesn't really matter what type of rail we're just going to need it to put our minecart down we're also going to need one trap door one lever one redstone lamp a handful of arrows i highly recommend getting nine stacks of arrows because once that's it down there you really don't want to go back down there and then we're also going to need some blocks to put our redstone down on so once you've gotten your three by four spacing we're just going to come right here to the bottom left hand corner and right here is where our lever is going to be going to turn it on so just go ahead and put two blocks right here with redstone dust on top of both of them then right next to this, we're going to go ahead and put a dropper. It should be our only dropper facing upwards. We no longer need our dropper. And then put a hopper going into the top of this dropper like that. We no longer need our hopper anymore as well. Next, what I want you to do is put any type of item inside this dropper. It really doesn't matter. So I'm just going to go ahead and put in, let's just throw one of our dropper or hopper in there. I highly recommend just using dirt since that's the easiest thing to get. Next, what I want you to do is put a block right next to your dropper and then put a comparator coming out of your hopper right here like this with a block in front of the comparator, a block down, and then a piece of redstone dust like that. Then coming out of this dust right here, we're gonna go ahead and put a repeater going this way on three ticks delay with a dispenser facing upwards. And then this is where your arrows are gonna be going. So I highly recommend filling up this entire thing with arrows. I'm just gonna throw one stack in there though. And then coming off of this redstone dust, we're gonna put a block, put a repeater coming out of it on one tick delay, put a block up in front of it, a redstone torch to the side of the block like that, and then coming out of both this redstone torch and this redstone dust, we're going to put another dispenser right here with a lava bucket inside of it. Next, what I want you to do is put a block up right on top of this three tick delay repeater like this, and then put a redstone lamp on top of this block. Now, what I want you to do is just test out to make sure your lava is working good. So we're going to put a block right above this redstone dust. I highly recommend just using grass, a dirt block or whatever. And then we're going to go ahead and put a lever on top of here. So when I flip down this lever, the lava should come out. And then when I flip it back over, the lava should go away. So flip it, the lava comes out and the arrow comes out as well. Actually, that's supposed to happen. And then when we flip it this way, the lava goes away. So if yours is not doing this, then you're going to have to go back in the video and make sure you didn't mess up on any one of the parts. Next, what we're going to do is our minecart. So right here off your lamp, what I want you to do is take out your trap door and make sure you put your trap door right on the top of the lamp like that. So it's flush with the lamp. And then we're going to put a block right above our trap door like this. Put a rail on top of the block, a minecart on top of the rail, and then delete this block like that. Make sure to pick up your rail. If you are on survival, you probably don't want to lose that. Then next, what we're going to do is put our stone slabs around the entire border of this minecart. So go ahead and take out your stone slabs and literally just wrap it around the entire minecart like this. There we go. And you should be completely done, guys. So when we flip up this lever, our minecart gets set on fire. And then when, as you see right there, the lamp comes on, so it gives off light. And then if we flip it down and then walk away from it, and then once we fly back towards it, it should be off. I know it kind of stinks the way you have to turn it off, guys, but that's pretty much like the best I could do right now. Also, this will not work in the rain. Just giving you guys a heads up. The rain will put out the fire. But there you guys have it. That's how you build my entire campfire version three. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave it a like and subscribe. Stay tuned with my newest videos. All right, guys. Peace.